Hi, my name is Dave. I've been an English teacher for 10 years and today I'm going to tell you the secret of mastering English tenses. They ha are perhaps the hardest part of English grammar, but they needn't be. So, let's get started. I want to start with past tenses. Past simple describes consecutive moments of a story. They are the moments that happen one by one, one after the other. So for example, I woke up, I brushed my teeth, and then I went to work. Next we have past continuous. Past continuous describes an action which was in progress at a moment in time in the past. Perhaps at the same moment as a past simple action, the important point is that they were unfinished actions at that moment. For my Russian students, this means vid in the past. For example, today at five minutes past three, I was teaching Anna. Or, alternatively, I was reading a book when the doorbell rang. Next, we have past perfect simple. These do not describe actions which are one after the other. That is past simple. Past perfect simple describes an action which happened before a past simple moment. For example, I looked in my bag and I realized that my wallet had been stolen. The wallet had been stolen before the moment that I looked in my bag. Next we have past perfect continuous. This tense is also a moment which happened before a past simple moment, but it is a longer action which happened before a past simple moment. So we use it with long action verbs, not with stative verbs, only with continuous verbs. For example, wait, live, work, play, study, do, these are long actions, and so if they happened before a previous past simple moment, you must use past perfect continuous. For example, I passed my exams because I had been studying the night before. Okay, now we will look at the present tenses. First of all, the two easier tenses, present simple and present continuous. Present simple is used for actions which occur regularly or permanent states. For example, I live in England, I don't have any brothers or sisters, on Mondays I play football. Present continuous is used for actions happening right now. For example, I am teaching you English. Or, what are you doing now? It's also used for temporary states. If I say I am living in Moscow, it sounds like it's not a permanent state. It sounds temporary. Okay, now we will deal with two very difficult tenses. Present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. Present perfect simple is used for unfinished periods of time, especially with words such as for, since, yet, already and just. So for example, I have known him since I was a boy. Or, I haven't finished my homework yet. We also use this tense for recent actions with present results. For example, I have done my homework, look. Or, I can't find my phone, ah, oh, I have found my phone, here it is. Or, someone has taken my bag, where is it? Okay, s thirdly, we use this tense when we are talking about someone's entire life. We, it's not important when it happened, because we're talking about all of their life. For example, have you seen this film? Have you seen Titanic? We don't mean one moment in the past. We don't mean, did you see this film yesterday? That's past simple, because yesterday, we know when, it's one moment. We mean someone's entire life. Have you ever seen this film? Or, 
I have never been to France, not in all my life. Or I have taught science and maths as well as English. It's not important when. It happened at some moment in my life. OK, present perfect continuous is also used for unfinished periods of time, but we use it with long action verbs. Again, wait, do, play, work, study. For example, I have been waiting for three hours. I have been playing football all day. The focus of this tense is duration. It's not the result, like with present perfect simple. If we say how many times something happened, we must use present perfect simple. I have written three letters. He has phoned me three times today. But if we emphasize duration, we must use present perfect continuous. OK, next we will look at future tenses. I don't think you should worry too much about the difference with will and going to. If you read the grammar books, many differences are noted. But generally speaking, English speakers don't know the difference between will and going to. We generally use will for spontaneous decisions. For example, in a restaurant, the waiter comes and you say, I will have the steak. You should remember that going to is for future plans. For example, in summer, I am going to go to France. However, we may use present continuous also for future plans, especially with friends and family. For example, after the lesson, I am meeting my friend Mark. Future simple will, you must remember to use shall only with questions with I and we. For example, shall we go to the cinema? Shall I make a sandwich for you? The next future tense which I'd like to talk about is future perfect. Future perfect we use for a definite moment in the future. For example, this time next week I will have done my homework. This means that the homework will be finished. We use future perfect simple will have done for moments which are finished at a definite future time. It is different from future perfect continuous because future perfect continuous shows us an unfinished moment at a definite future time. For example, this time next week I will be studying hard for my exams. This moment is unfinished. OK, the last thing I want to talk about concerning these tenses is the importance of recognizing signal words to help you choose a tense. For example, if we say when something happened in 1991, yesterday, five years ago, on Monday last week, past simple. The word while is very often past continuous because it means in the middle of an unfinished moment. If we use the word before, very often we need past perfect. Also, if we're reporting our own speech, very often we need past perfect. For example, I told the teacher that I had done my homework. It was before I told him. Okay, with present simple, we must watch out for always, often, sometimes, usually. These are regular repeated words. They emphasize that an action was repeated. Words like at the moment and now are used for the present continuous. Yet already just present perfect simple. For and since present perfect simple or present perfect continuous. How many times? Present perfect simple. How long? 
very often present perfect continuous. If we make a promise or an offer or a suggestion, use will or shall. If we have a future definite moment by this time next week, by the year 2015, use a future perfect tense. Maybe future perfect simple, maybe future perfect continuous, depends if it's finished. Thank you for watching.